Hello, everybody. I am wanting to show all of you the updated tracking system for the Nebraska Master Naturalist Volunteer and Continuing Education Tracking System now that it has been rebuilt by the University of Nebraska. And so I will send everybody an email with a new link and some specific tips and tri tricks um, on how to use a new tracking system. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks a little different than it was before, but these are the three links that we have here. The first one, this administration, that's for me to go in and uh, make any changes to the tracking system, um, any um, particular like add new members, things like that. Uh, and then this link right here will take you back to the Master Naturalist website. And then this link right here is the one that concerns you, and brings you right to the tracking system. So go ahead and click on go to login. And this is your login page and your login information is the same as it was in the previous system. We carried over all the, uh, it's your email address and then the password that you used. Um, we carried out, carried over all the um, same, same login credentials as the last system. If you forgot your password or your username, um, feel free to email me and I'll send that to you. Um, I will log in with mine. And then once you log in, this is what your dashboard looks like. So you have a summary right here. It'll say certified if you've completed your hours towards certification. If you are a master naturalist still in training, it'll show in training right there. Um, this system will be similar to the last one with the people who are in training status. So once you complete, uh, enter in 36 hours of continuing education, then the system will notify me and you um, of your new status change. And so you can see where you're at right there. Right here on the is a summary of your life to date hours. So anything that you've ever entered is right there. And so if you go in, log in, look at your hours and see what they look like, uh, make sure they look correct that we may have hopefully not missed anything from transferring hours from the previous system to the new one. Um, so I'll look at continuing educate or my um, continuing education summary right here. And so you can search past um, events that you've put in, but here's a table of everything. Um, these are all just examples. These are things that I need to go here and clean up, but these are all tests um, from previous things. So you can see by uh, type, if it was citizen science, interpret outreach, um, resource management, outdoor skills, the organization that you volunteered with or that you did your continuing education with, and then um, the date, contact person, the name of the event, the a description of what that event was, your travel time to and from, as well as uh, hours participated in the event, and then the date that you actually entered, and then any comments that you want to put in. And right here, you also have a link to add uh, another continuing education event. So click, click on that. It'll bring you to a confirmation page. Would you like to add? A new continuing education event, yes or no? Let's click on yes. And so this is where it might be a little bit tricky for some people. Um, this form is what you fill out. It already comes pre-populated. And so what you want to do is you want to hit, uh, click on edit. Once we click on edit, here's our blank form. It comes pre-populated with the drop-down box of options. And so these drop down boxes help us uh, organize and um, keep track of your guys' um, entries a lot easier. So this whole drop down box is a list of every different organization that has ever been entered into the system. And so um, this helps us keep volunteer opportunities straight. So if people enter, you know, previously there was eight different versions of Nebraska Game of Parks that was entered, you know, abbreviations, misspellings, things like that. And so if you can find um, 
what you want to enter in, you can put it right here. So I'll put in test entry, Audubon, Nebraska, um, my continuing education type. It was, let's say it was interpretation and outreach. Name of, um, if you're entering something in that wasn't in here before, if you can't find it in here, you can type it in right here. If it's something that you're doing on your own, um, we'll just label that under individual project right here. So say it's a learning opportunity that's not with a partner, but something I'm doing myself. Um, you can type, just write an individual project. The date of when that event happened, it'll pre-populate the time that you're at right now. Um, otherwise you can pick, you don't have to put in a time, but you can put in a date. So let's say 4, 15, 21. Point of, in, point of contact for the event, who did you register for? I'm just gonna write my name, test. Name of the continuing education event. Uh, well, I'm just gonna write in crane season to fill it in. But let's say like crane season uh, training. And then for continuing education opportunity description, it doesn't need to be complete sentences or full on narrative, but just something that allows us to um, get some context of what it was that, excuse me, that you learned from or the volunteer event. Travel time to and from the event, accumulative. So this, uh, this will take, we'll do things by decimal. So um, if you did something that was 15 minutes long, that'd just be, you know, 0.25. If you did something that was a half hour, point five of something that was 45 minutes 0.75 and then if you something was just one hour just type in a one and then the actual hours participated in that event we'll put in one and then the date entered will just automatically be there and then any comments that you might have um, to add in there and then instead of clicking submit you click this button that says update and then it brings you back to your completed form you will also receive an email um, confirming what it was that you did and then if you need to go in and delete it or if you need to go in and make any edits so say it was actually you know you drove two hours round trip you can go in and, and change that there uh, let's go over to volunteer event summary uh, these are all volunteer events that um, for the sake of this these are just tests but it's another way to look at all of your volunteer opportunities life to date and they'll be in um, chronological order from newest at the top to previous events down at the bottom and so you'll see the volunteer type the organization as well as the date contact um, the name of the volunteer event, a description, travel time, volunteer hours. Um, so remember with volunteer hour, we track travel time with volunteer hours. Um, these two add together. And then any people that you connected with while you're volunteering, any acres affected with resource management. Um, that one can kind of be tricky as we know. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, and then we also will be also have in there um, any excuse me um, but then you go here to the volunteer summary and this is let's go back my bad add a volunteer event would you like to add a new event yes so this is what the form looks like. We're looking at um, also down here, if there's any threatened, Nebraska threatened or endangered tier one, tier two species that um, were impacted or that you interacted with during any sort of resource management um, or citizen science type volunteering. And so we like to track that as well um, in our current grant. So this form is similar to the continuing education form. You click edit to start it. 
you fill in all of this information here you choose type let's say we're doing um, an outdoor skills with Nebraska 4-H organizational contact I'll just put me let's say the event was youth fishing and the description of the youth fishing was travel time it was took me a half hour to get there took me a half hour to get back so let's just say 0.5 the event itself was two hours I worked with 10 youth, acre affected zero, because this was outdoor skills. If it was resource management, um, say something like pulling uh, musk thistles or other invasive species, approximately how many acres you worked upon or you worked on. Any threatened or endangered species? Nope. Date entered, this is the time. Comments? No comments. To submit it, I go and click update. It loads this page right here is my confirmation. I also received an email. All right, and so you can click on summary menu and it'll take you back to all of your continuing education totals, all your volunteer totals. Going back up here and see summaries of your continuing education summaries of your volunteer information contact information this is information that helps us keep records um that will cross put or cross track cross reference with our other um contact information and then if you need to change your password or your uh, mailing or email address phone number you can do that here as well but this is the new tracking system. It's pretty basic. Um, it works very similarly to the previous tracking system. This one is here to stay for quite a while. Um, this is, will be hosted now hosted on the University of Nebraska's um, new servers that they bumped us off of and switched us onto a new one. Um, but if you have any questions on, um, if you need your uh, login information if you have any questions on what counts for continuing education or volunteer total or volunteer tracking uh, feel free to contact me and either call me or shoot me an email um, but other than that we are here to go and back on track with the tracking system thank you